Marriage is a fickle thing. Many of us dream about what our weddings will be like and who our forever love will be. I don't think anyone anticipates having their marriages fall apart, but it happens sometimes. And as Hollywood has shown us, celebrity marriages are the most fragile of them all. Some stay together for life and others marry nine times. Today, let's talk about some failed marriages as we count down the top 10 celebrities who instantly regretted their marriages part four. At number 10, Jim Carrey and Lauren Hawley. Jim and Lauren's romance came as quickly as it went. For years, Jim had been infatuated with Lauren after having watched her on the soap opera All My Children. And so when it came to doing a screen test with her for Ace Ventura Pet Detective, he felt as though she was already part of his world. Though she turned down the role in that film, she was persuaded to perform alongside Jim in Dumb and Dumber, and it was then that their romance began. The two eventually got married in 1996 atop a mountain because again, nothing says romance like looking over the edge of a cliff. It seems as though there is some kind of drink that comes with getting married on a cliff because much like the mountain's edge, their marriage came to an end. Now, unlike many other celebrity marriages, this one didn't really end with disdain. Instead, it ended just because they were kind of over it. Their romance came at the emergence of paparazzi culture, and so as the biggest couple at the time, the paparazzi were following the couple everywhere, and even setting up camp in their backyard just to catch a glimpse of the two. Jim and Lauren ended their marriage nine months later, with some thinking that it was because of cheating or career jealousy. There was no bad blood, so maybe things just ended because they weren't meant to be. But they probably were regretted their decision to wed because of the invasion of privacy from the paparazzi. At number 9, Mike Tyson and Robin Givens. Mike Tyson's first marriage to his wife Robin Givens was a rocky one. After 11 months of dating, they got married in 1988 in the wake of Robin's pregnancy and after Mike gave Robin and her mother around $10 million to get them settled. In Mike's memoir, he accused Robin of marrying him and locking him into a relationship for her own gain as he alleged that her pregnancy and subsequent miscarriage were faked in order to get him to marry her. In the media, Mike was dragged through the mud. There were allegations of abuse and mistreatment on Mike's part and and the infamous Barbara Walters interview did not help with his image. The interview was originally supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one profile of Mike, but before the interview, Robin allegedly pulled Barbara aside and told her that she didn't have the whole truth about them. Robin was then invited to join the interview where she opened up about things that she sustained while married to Mike and commenting on how he's been treating her. And I said, I don't deserve this. I never had this in my life before and I'm not gonna tolerate this. Soon after the interview, Robin filed for divorce from Mike and was later caught cheating on him with Brad Pitt. Mike most definitely regrets marrying Robin as he said so in his book, and others refer to his marriage to Robin as the quote, one that ruined him. Before I carry on with this list, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video, and if you're looking for some more awesome content to enjoy after this video, check out my gaming channel Viper Girl for some more fun with me. At number 8, Luann and Tom D'Agostino. Real Housewives of New York cast members Luann and Tom D'Agostino weren't the greatest pair, and anyone on set could have told you that. The other cast members actually warned Luann about Tom saying that he was untrustworthy and that he was still in love with his ex. Still, Luann continued her romance and the two got married on New Year's Eve in 2016. At the end of the show's sixth season, it was revealed that one of the cast members had compromising photos of Tom kissing another woman just days after his and Luann's engagement party. Soon it became apparent to the public that there were some serious problems in their relationship as Luann and Tom got into a heated argument at a restaurant which ended with Luann slapping Tom across the face. This heated relationship and Tom's subsequent cheating never subsided, as days before their divorce announcement, Tom was caught with another woman, but at that point, no one was really surprised. They were only married for seven months, and those were the craziest seven months of their lives. Luann regrets not having listened to her castmates when they warned her about Tom, but at least that chapter has closed. At number seven, Axl Rose and Aaron Everly. The tumultuous relationship of Axl Rose and Aaron Everly is one that is certainly ingrained in the rock world. The two met while Axl, the frontman for Guns N' Roses, was still a struggling musician. She became one of the most important people in Axel's life, being the inspiration for the song Sweet Child of Mine. After meeting at a party in 1986, the two formed an instant connection. Despite being a good looking match on the outside, they had a tumultuous relationship, but this didn't stop them from getting married in a Las Vegas ceremony in 1990. 
Axel allegedly threatened to harm himself if she didn't marry him, so things were already off to a rocky start. The marriage was annulled in 1991, just nine months after getting married, and in 94, Erin filed a civil suit against Axel where she alleged that she was being abused by her then husband. Since the split, Erin has auctioned off memorabilia that she had kept from her days with Axel and the band, looking to rid herself of any trace of her old ties with them. She surely regretted this relationship because of how messy it was and the way she was treated, and the the fact that she wanted to get rid of so much of her past also speaks volumes. At number 6, Chris Kattan and Sunshine Tut Actor and SNL alum Chris Kattan and his ex-wife Sunshine Tut had an incredibly short marriage that only lasted 8 weeks. Actor and SNL alum Chris Kattan and his ex-wife Sunshine Tut had an incredibly short marriage that only lasted about 8 weeks and left them both in cheating scandals. The two started dating in 2005 and tied the knot in June 2008, but it seems as though all the time in the world could not prepare them for the commitment they were about to give each other because two months later, they were in other people's beds. When the news broke of their split, Chris was the first one to come forward to say that he actually caught Sunshine in bed with her ex, but after this accusation, Sunshine's family said that it was actually Chris who was seeking comfort elsewhere. In the end, they just chalked their failed marriage up to issues, but I'm assuming they regret this whole thing and getting married in the first place. Clearly, they weren't ready for this kind of lifelong commitment, so that was just a waste of time and money in the end. At number 5, Chad Johnson and Evelyn Lozada Chad Johnson, also known as Chad Ochocinco and ex-wife Evelyn Lozada, were only married for two months, but so much happened in that short amount of time to permanently damage their relationship. Their relationship was intense, but it wasn't until after they got married that the world learned just how intense it was. After dating for less than a year, the two were wed in a 4th of July ceremony in 2012, but just two months later, there came an incident that broke them. Evelyn recalled finding a receipt in Chad's car for items that prompted the idea that Chad was cheating. The two fought and ended with Chad seriously injuring his wife. Chad was arrested for battery and domestic violence and they divorced shortly after the incident. Evelyn did an interview about the ordeal where she opened up about her feelings on the situation. He was lying and um, I told him, I, I never forget telling him, I said, I'm not sticking by you through this. I don't care if my marriage is the laughing stock. And the two have gone their several ways since. At number 4, Elizabeth Taylor and Conrad Hilton Elizabeth Taylor, one of Hollywood's most memorable icons, was married 8 times and had many stories and encounters to recall throughout her life, but one of her shortest and most regrettable marriages was to Conrad Hilton. The two were only married for 205 days before undoing their marriage after feeling neglected and abused by her new husband. She was 18 at the time of her marriage, but shortly after their wedding, Liz recalled how indifferent Conrad was to her and how hurt she was when he spoke to her using abusive language. Liz won her divorce on grounds of mental cruelty, she refused alimony, and took back her maiden name. It was almost like it never happened and Liz wanted it that way. She knew she deserved better and refused to put up with Conrad's treatment of her. During their honeymoon, the two reportedly fought a lot and spent more time apart than they did together. She later told news sources that her idea of marriage was very naive and so she regretted the decision. She lived a better life without him anyway. At number 3, Zaza Gabor and Philippe de Alba. Actress Zaza Gabor was married more times than anyone on this list, having been wed 9 times in her life. Some say she liked getting married more so for the pomp and circumstance than some say she liked getting married more so for the celebration than for the actual marriage part, but who knows, she was living her best life. Her marriage to her 8th husband, Philippe de Alba, was the shortest, having lasted less than a day, but not for the reason that you might expect. She didn't regret her marriage to Philippe, she regretted her marriage to her 7th husband, Michael O'Hara. Why? Well, because he ruined her 8th marriage. After marrying Philippe, she learned just a few hours later that her marriage to O'Hara hadn't legally ended, so her newest marriage was illegal. Zaza and Philippe had their marriage annulled the next day, and they never got back together, deciding that their marriage was just too weird. At number 2, Ike and Tina Turner Tina Turner is an absolute legend, and to think that anyone would even have the nerve to hurt this queen is so sad. Ike and Tina were a musical powerhouse, but they had a tumultuous relationship, leaving Tina regretting having ever known him. The two met while Tina was still a teenager and began performing together. In 1962, the two got married and continued to perform together for the following decade. Though they were a successful duo, Ike had been abusing Tina behind the scenes, causing her so much pain that she didn't deserve, and even prompting her to try taking her own life. 
After surviving her attempt, she made it her mission to leave Ike and begin a fresh start. And that is exactly what she did, and she became an even bigger star because of it. Finally at number one, Prince Charles and Princess Diana. Prince Charles and Princess Diana were one of the most beloved celebrity couples. The whole world loved them. Well, they loved Diana. She was the people's princess, but behind closed doors, she was sad and neglected by her husband. She was always second best to in Charles' eyes, having never gotten over his infatuation with Camilla Parker Bowles, a woman that he was told he could never have. The two got married in 1981 and had two kids together, but because of Charles' extramarital affairs and Diana's unhappiness in the relationship, they got divorced in 1996. Diana regretted marrying Charles because she always knew that there would be three in the marriage, her, Charles, and Camilla. She deserved so much better, but got Charles instead. She was loved by the whole world, and eventually, after she was free from the royal family, that became enough. I mean, have you seen that revenge dress? I'm sure I'm not alone in wishing that she had more time to enjoy that freedom. Now, I would like you guys to tell me about a love story that has resonated with you. Whether it's personal or a widely known one, I wanna know what makes you believe in love. Anyways, guys, that's been our list. I've been your host, Brie Room, and until next time, stay safe, check me out over on the Viper Girl channel, and I will see you guys next time. Stay groovy, friends.